Hey there, Taurus. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 8th. Uh, this week we are going to uh, take a look at your current energies with this uh, first row here. Uh, we are going to take a look at any blockages or blind spots in your second row. In your third row, we're going to take at your um, <clears throat> anything unexpected that could be coming in for you at this time. And in your fourth row, we're going to take a look at any uh, messages from your guides. We're going to—it's basically your next steps from your guides, whatever your advice your guides have for us in this reading. So, Taurus, let's see what we have here. Uh, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising uh, for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time, Cancer or Taurus. Sorry. Uh, also. Uh, at the end, I will be pulling three yes or no question cards. I will give you time uh, to pause the reading and then you can ask your questions, Taurus. But uh, Taurus, Taurus, let's see here what we have going on for you here this week. And um, you start off with this higher view card here. So I do feel like you're gaining a new perspective. You have the hangman here as well. I feel like you are gaining a new perspective on something that has been very stuck for a long time. It's like you're setting yourself free here with this energy. Uh, it's funny that I said Cancer because uh, Cancer had a very similar reading. Uh, not similar, but you have the Eight of Cups here. It's almost like you're releasing yourself from being from this imprisonment. You have this imprisonment card here, but I feel like you're setting yourself free from something that has kept you trapped for a very long time. I'm getting like, I feel that what you're setting yourself free from could be something that is like very deep, like, you know, that comes from a very deep place. What I mean by that is that these could be like insecurities you have from childhood that you're setting yourself free from. Or it could be beliefs that you don't even know that you have because it's like, because maybe these beliefs were like imprinted on you as a child or something like that. So I feel that you are kind of setting yourself free. I love this. I feel like it's very good. I feel like it's gonna lead to positive change as well. Yeah, you have this Ameri Motive card as well. This is kind of like having a reason to be happy here. And, but I feel for some of you, you're just like creating more happiness in your life. You have the Justice card, the Star, and the Three of Swords here. I do feel like you could have had a Tower moment. Um, I say that because, you know, before the Star is the Tower, and I feel that for some of you, it's like you're just healing from a Tower moment. And the Three of Swords, I'm just getting the word healing. Uh, the Three of Swords in reverse is a card of healing or kind of going through healing and that's the energy I get for you. Again, I don't read reversals. I read intuitively. So, you know, again, if, if I did, the Three of Swords would probably be in reverse in your reading. But I feel for some of you, you're healing from something here with that Three of Swords energy. You're very focused on something in this middle row as well. We're going to clarify, obviously, this whole entire thing, and we'll see what you're very focused on. But I feel like you're very focused on accomplishing something in your life with that Star card, something that's going to be very expansive, something that's going to lead to a lot of growth. Uh, for others, I feel you could be healing from like a heartbreak or a separation. Uh, we're gonna get more details on this to find out. So uh, let's see, 1010 by the way here, uh, Taurus. But let's see, Taurus, you have the two of wands here. Moving on, moving forward. You have the emperor here. Could be from an Aries from, for some of you. And the Eight of Cups walking away. I do feel like some of you are walking away from a person here. It could be a marriage with the Justice card. You could be going through divorce. For others, I feel like you're just walking away from a person. Uh, someone who hurt, hurt you here, I would say. So... If, if you're dealing with love, I feel some of you are walking away from a situation. This is causing you to really kind of take the lead. I feel like you're, like, I know I, I say it to you all the time, Taurus, but, I mean, it is what it is. I really feel like you're bossing up. I feel like you are kind of, like, taking the lead. I feel like you're very focused on, like, growth, and you're very focused on expansion here with this three of wands. So, in a lot of ways, I feel like you are bossing up. I feel like you're taking your power back here. Wouldn't surprise me to see the Empress show up in your reading because, you know, I get Get that very empress type energy you have this blessed energy as well really uh, kind of a nice reading for you here Taurus uh, next in your any unexpected blockages or blind spots you have the flow card here I do feel like some of you need to go with the flow yeah, you have this thri thriving card as well. I feel like this is saying, be careful. You know, like so things could be going very well in your life, but I feel like this need to kind of keep, uh, to like 
maintain. That's where this is popping into my head. I was like, I was trying to clarify that word, Taurus. I'm like, what is that word that is popping into my head right now? And it's maintenance. So I feel for some of you, this the blockage or blind spot that you could be having this week is like, maybe things are going well in a certain area of your life, but I feel like this is more talking about maintenance, maintaining thing, the maintaining, you know, kind of the current state uh, where you are right now. So I feel like some of you are getting to this maintenance level in your life. And I, but I just feel like you need to keep it going, right? So like, what the hell does that mean? Well, you have the eight of cups, three of wands and four of swords here. What I feel like this is saying is I feel like it's saying don't get lazy. It's like if you have reached a certain level of happiness, it's like maybe there are certain things you're doing. Maybe you're going for a walk every day. Maybe you're making your bed. Maybe you're working out or something like that. I feel like this is saying this week there might be a temptation to stop doing those things. I'd say don't. I feel like if you have some sort of daily routine, I feel like you need to keep it going because I feel like it's it's kind of like maintaining your thriving position that you're in here, Taurus. And I feel it's going to be very important for you to keep that going. Uh, same thing in a relationship as well, but in, in all other areas of your life, the Eight of Cups is a card of innovation. And it kind of says like in relationships or businesses, it's like if we're not always trying at least like one new thing, things are gonna get boring real fast, right? Or things are just gonna stop working. I'm always making changes on this channel, right? It drives people crazy, I know, but guess what? I'm growing faster than ever um, because I'm evolving, right? I'm always looking to improve. And I feel like this is saying right here that you need to make sure to do that this week in your love life, in your business life, in your health life. I, and, and again, you don't have to go crazy, right? This could say that just making one tiny little change right now uh, would be enough. Maybe you only need to make a couple changes a month or a couple changes a year. This is not something that requires a lot of work. I don't know what it is. I, like, I don't know if it's school or <laughs> I, I have no clue, society, right, that has made it seem like, I feel like it makes things seem too out of reach here, Taurus. And I do get this like out of reach feeling. This is why I'm saying this. I feel it too. Like I, I totally understand this feeling where it's like you feel like, to improve your business, you have to make these huge jumps or to improve your love life. It's like you have to improve, make these huge jumps. But you know what I always say is like, most people don't even try. So if you just try just making one change even a year in your relationship, trust me, you're beating about 99.9% .9 of relationships. You are better than 99.9% .9 of relationships that don't even try, right? So I always tell people, people don't even try, period, plain and simple. And this goes for everything in your life. So I feel like just making, just doing like one little thing this week, making one little change in some area of your life that you want to improve. I don't know that that's really a blockage. I feel like it's kind of more advice. Now you have the four cups here. It's like mm, uh, kind of like be, being afraid that you're not gonna see the change. 10 of Pentacles, major success coming in for you here. Love it. And you have the 10 of Pentacles over here and you have the 10 of Swords over here as well. I do feel like you're healing from something. 10 of Swords really says, don't be the victim. You know, for some of you, maybe this is, this is basically saying that you have tried changes in the past and they didn't work, but uh, who cares? I feel like you need to keep trying things. Again, four cups, he's manifesting these four cups. He's manifesting these things in front of him but he's not looking at them. This could be one of those things where it's like, maybe you're trying to lose weight and maybe you're like on a diet and maybe you're like, oh my God, I didn't lose all 60 pounds that I wanted to lose this week. I only lost half a pound. I, you know, progress, not perfection is what this row is saying for you, Taurus. It just popped into my head. I feel like some of you need to realize that you're making progress and that's good enough. Like most people don't make progress, just like I said. So I feel some of you, this row is saying your blockage is being too hard on, your, on yourself. I feel like you need to be kinder to yourself, nicer to yourself. I feel like you need to look at the things that you have you know, produced. I feel like you need to look at the progress you have made and you need to say, hey, wow, I made some progress. Can I keep improving upon this? Of course, but I shouldn't be you know, expecting you know, an overnight miracle necessarily. And, and especially if I am making progress, which I feel like you are. I'm speaking as you right now, Taurus. So I would say don't worry with this Ten of Swords, but uh, I actually like this energy for you here, Taurus. I feel like you're making important changes. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have the imprisonment card here and you have the family room. Uh, yeah, like being prison uh, in a prison in the family room, COVID, right? It's like being stuck in prison is COVID. So I feel that for some of you, you could literally be just stuck at home with this energy so that you could be feeling that uh, at this time. You could be feeling it on a much deeper level. Uh, for others, I feel this is just, again, being stuck doing the same thing over and over and over again. So I would spice things up this week. I would try, I feel like your advice this week is to like try new things. But you have the Net of Swords, Hangman, 
in the Page of Pentacles. Like I feel with this hangman energy that you are gaining a new perspective on things. It's like you're trying to, uh, you almost get the, these like temperance vibes off this card. It's like you are, temperance is a card of transformation. This is a card of gaining a new perspective, which is kind of similar. It's kind of like you're looking at things in your life through a different lens. You know, I feel like you're seeing things very differently at this time here, uh, Taurus. And I feel that this is kind of going to lead to something new in your life. And I feel that you could be just saying, you know, okay, I, I like I am, I, I do have certain restrictions, you know, COVID and all this other stuff, but I could still make progress. And I feel like that's what you're doing here. For others, this is communication coming in from a person. Definitely get Pisces vibes off the hangman. So it could be a Pisces that's coming in for you here. Uh, we're actually going to get more details on that. And uh, we're going to see what is going on with this. You have the Nine of Cups, some sort of something you've been wishing for coming in for you. The Nine of Swords again, someone, I mean, you might know who this person is. And the Chariot, boom. That, you know, the Chariot is exactly what I was saying with the, um, with the Hangman. The Chariot is being successful despite your circumstances. He is driving this Chariot. He is in full control of his reality, but he does have to obey the laws, the rules, the regulations that these two Sphinxes represent. The two Sphinxes represent rules, regulations, external circumstances. So it's like you can still accomplish a great deal this week, like I was saying, but it's going to be within the rules that have been set forth, basically. For others, I feel like someone is charging into your life. I do feel some of you know who this person is. Is. So you could have a secret admirer, not a secret admirer, but it's like you admire someone. You've been waiting for them to make a move here. I feel like someone is making a move with this energy. Not a source twice. Quick movement. For others, this could be quick movement. You are making quick moves at this time. Uh, so you could literally be moving or I feel for some of you, you're just setting yourself free from this kind of like imprisoned feeling, from this feeling of being stuck. And it's like you're coming up with solutions with the chariot. Like definitely a very charging forward energy. Having the Knight of Swords twice plus the chariot, that's like blasting off towards something. So uh, love it. In your last row here, you have ne your next steps from your guides. This is guidance from your guides, the things that they want you to do. You have the blessed card. So I do feel like there are blessings coming in for you here. Yeah, I feel like you need to be flexible. I mean, pretty much everybody gets this right now. Is this like flexible energy? Um, four cups energy, basically. Four cups says... It's like there could be certain things that you want to manifest in your life, it, but it probably does, just doesn't look like you're actually manifesting those things. Uh, the secret is, is you actually are. <laughs> you know, it's like the universe is bringing us everything we want right now. It just might not look how we expect it to look. Um, you know, right now I feel like the universe is clowning us, you know, everybody. It's like if you want love, for example, it's like the universe might bring you love, but it's like maybe you've sworn off internet dating. And right now the universe is saying, well, the only way you're going to get love is but through internet dating. So it's like, you know, the universe... Is kind of like forcing us to adapt, evolve, you know, and change in some way. And that's probably where you're going to receive these blessings. So again, Four Cups is saying that you need to be, you know, just kind of don't be closed off to certain ways of getting things that you desire. You have the Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Wands, and Seven of Pentacles here. I feel like saying something is totally worth it. Like those are the words that are popping into my head. Two Sevens to me is internal fears that don't exist, but Seven of Wands is a card of conviction. It's a card of knowing that you know that something is going to be successful. It doesn't matter what it is, a business, a job, whatever. I feel like your guides are saying that when you adopt that type of energy where you know that you know something is going to work, it will work very quickly with the Seven of Wands. Seven of Pentacles is analyzing something like, eh, you know, is it worth it? Do I put work into this or what? He's analyzing these pentacles. He's saying, you know, should I keep doing this? It represents a change in direction as well, this card. He's looking at those pentacles. He's saying, should I stay here? Should I look at these pentacles? You know, should I keep growing these pentacles or should I do something else? And so I feel for some of you, you're looking for a change to make here. But what I would say is that I feel this is more, he's like waiting for the perfect moment. You know, you could look at this card and you could say, he's waiting for the perfect moment for these pentacles to be ripe. He's waiting for them to be like the best pentacles, if that makes sense. And so I do feel, but I really feel like the universe is saying here, like it's worth it, worth the wait or something. So something is going to be made worth the wait here. And that is from your guides. The Ten of Pentacles is everything you want in your life. So uh, a lot of success coming in for you. You have the Queen of Wands. Could be attracting love into your life. Queen of Wands to me is my card of like desire. Uh, Queen of Wands is a card of seduction. 
as well. So there definitely could be love coming in for you. You have the Seven of Swords, a lot of sevens here. I, I do feel like you need to get let go of the fears. The fears are keeping you stuck in this imprisonment energy in the Magician. Yeah, I feel like you're attracting, like I said, I feel like you're attracting things very quickly into your life here, Taurus. And I feel that it's going to be good. But um, I'm too nosy. What? Yeah, the sun, happiness. I was going to say, um, I want to ask, what are you attracting into your life? Love here. So you have the lovers. You have the justice card, karmic balance. And the four months marriage. So probably love. The justice card would just represent attracting a person into your life. Justice here, justice. Uh, attracting a person into your life where it's just a balanced relationship, uh, where there's equal give and take. The four wands I love. I mean, this is a card of freedom. So in a lot of ways, even if you don't want love, the four wands would tell me you're chasing happiness with the knight of swords twice here, and you're moving more towards... Um, Happiness, but freedom. Four wands is a card of freedom. These people are celebrating on the other side of these four wands because they have been set free. So imprisonment, freedom. Like I said, I feel like you are being set free uh, this week. But uh, Taurus, let's get into your yes or no questions. I'm going to pull three cards, yes or no. And it's going to be uh, one, two, and three. So feel free to pause this video if you need time to think about your questions. But we're going to do, you can pick all three of these if you want. And we're going to say yes or no on each one. But uh, here we go. Uh, for card number one, I would say yes, three cups celebration. I would say that I'm also giving advice with these or whatever I feel like the card is trying to say. So I feel like this would be a yes if you kind of focus on teamwork. So whatever your question was, maybe you could get people to help you or um, you know, if this is involving another person, it could just be working on a team with that person, even in love. Uh, for card number two, I would say no, Eight of Swords, stuck energy here, and I feel like shallow is the word that's popping into my head with this card, so I feel like some of you could either be dealing with a person who is shallow, or maybe there just isn't enough depth in something that you're asking about with card number two. Uh, for card number three, I would say yes, Queen of Wands, Queen of Wands, wholehearted energy, so I feel number three is a yes if you put your heart and soul into whatever you're asking about so queen of wands does not just star the star she is dipping her toes in the water she's just like you know sticking her little big toe in the water testing it out right the queen of wands dives head first straight in so i feel this uh, card number three is saying if you dive straight in if you give something everything you got then yes definitely but really nice reading here taurus a lot of happiness coming in for you with the sun as well but uh, thank you. So thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope this helps. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Really appreciate all the support. Uh, also, feel free to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this week, Taurus. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your week.